it going? This is Mike over at Mantra Mobile Marketing, and today we're going to be checking out Mutu Project Autumn, available now on the App Store as well as Google Play for the great price of free. Mutu is a 2D puzzle platformer game where you must get your character to a goal cube by means of jumping, dodging, and manipulating the board with your rocket launcher in order to reach the cube in the least amount of jumps as possible. Let's head over to the app and check out its gameplay. Now currently, we are sitting at the main menu screen where you'll notice that we can simply click play in order to ramp up a game. Now down in the lower left hand corner we've got a little trophy button where we can go ahead and click on that. This pulls up things that you can unlock during gameplay as you progress. Now you'll notice that we've got a green laser, a red laser, and a pink laser that we can toggle between that will show up on our character. Now we're going to jump back to the menu here and we're going to go ahead and hit play. Now you'll, no, you'll quickly notice that we're on chapter 3. We've already completed level 1 and level 2 and we've received a bronze medal for those games based on the amount of jumps it took us to get to the goal cube. Now Mutu has a total of 140 levels of challenging gameplay. And one of the better things about this game is it's free and it has absolutely no ads. Which means you don't have to worry about those annoying little pop-ups that you have to box out of or you accidentally click on that takes you to a different screen. Now we're going to go ahead and jump back into level 1 and show you how the gameplay goes. Now basically all you got to do is tap the screen in order to jump. Now you can also double tap to get a higher jump. Now down at the bottom you'll notice at the far left that we've got a menu button. We can go ahead and click on that and we can use the pan view mode. We can restart the level or go back to the game or we can exit back to the main menu. Now right in the middle on the bottom there it shows what chapter we're on, what level, and how many jumps that we've used as well as how many rockets we currently have. Now in order to switch off from our jump mode to our rocket launcher mode we simply click down in the bottom right hand corner switch mode and that will enable us to fire our rockets. Now all we gotta do here is hold our finger on the screen and point to where we would like to shoot to. We're gonna go ahead and shoot down at the bottom here. And as you can see, it manipulated the board in order for us to get to where we need to go to. Now we're gonna shoot one more time up here. And as you can see, it kind of created a, a little stepping stone where our character can now jump and get over to the part that we need to get to here. And we're trying to jump here. There we go. Now we just gotta. Now, if, also, if you hold the screen, there we go. We clicked and we have made it to our goal cube. And we've earned a bronze medal for this. Now we're gonna go ahead and click continue here. And it looks like we've wound right back up on the same level that we just went to. We're gonna go back to the game. Actually, we're going to go back to the main menu, and we'll jump into level 2 just to give you an idea of what other boards look like. Oh, and it was it, pretty much the same board, except for you'll notice that the, the goal cube is higher up this time. We've got two rockets available, so we're going to go ahead and aim and point here. And again, we're going to be manipulating the board, which, as you progress through the game, this will increase in difficulty as you manipulate the board with your rocket launcher making it much more difficult. Now we're gonna jump up here. Whoa, we went way too far. Now we may be in some problem here. I don't think we're gonna be able to get up to that so we're gonna click into the menu and restart the level because we simply jumped way too far. And we're gonna try this again. Now real quick you'll also notice these little blocks over here with the little dots in them, you cannot affect those with your rocket launcher. All right, only the, the boxes that don't have those dots. So you really got to be careful when you're aiming at certain blocks in order to get things. And there we go. We've reached our goal cube again, and we can go ahead and continue on to the next level. Now, like I noted earlier. As you progress through the game, it gets extremely more difficult because you'll notice that a lot of these blocks now have the little dot and we cannot hit those with our rocket launcher and affect anything. So we're going to go ahead and switch mode here. And we are going to shoot right about there. 
see if we can't manipulate the board. And it manipulated it for the most part. Now this is where you really got to kind of double tap. Now the one thing I've had difficulty with so far is kind of the jumping motions here. For some reason it just it can be a little bit difficult trying to maneuver your jumps even with the double jump here. Oh, and I was almost up there. And for some reason, and I'm right back down at the bottom. That would be the one thing I would suggest to the developer would be to kind of tighten up the the control on this because it really can be difficult at times to double jump. I suppose if you really, really got used to it, and I've been through a few levels already, and for some reason I just, I, I can't get the jumping ability down the way I'd like to see fit because a lot of times I get stuck jumping around the board several times. As you can see, I'm already up to 50 jumps down at the middle bottom there. All right, so we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. And there you have it. Mutu is currently available for free on the App Store as well as Google Play, minus any annoying pop-ups during gameplay, so make sure to pick up the game today. As always, this is Mike over at Monster Mobile Marketing, and we'll catch you next time.